Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on payment wizard. So payment wizard basically why payment wizard is used. Payment wizard is generally used for creating multiple outgoing or incoming payment for a particular vendor or a customer at once. Let's say you have a vendor or a customer having more than 10 or 15 or 20 uh, invoices available. So you have to go in each invoice and then you have to make an outgoing or incoming payment for that particular invoice. So payment wizard will do all of the things at once. So how it works. So first of all, starting with the payment wizard, I'll show you how the what are the prerequisites for the payment wizard. So I have a vendor available over here with the vent code also vendor on it. In general tabs, I have mentioned all the details for telephone number, mobile number, and contact person details, address. So the main thing for the payment wizard is giving in payment terms, we have an option available for business partner bank account. So over here, we have to give a business partner bank account from the option of choose from list available here. Once you go over here, you have to select a bank code. You have to give account number, bank account name and other details which are available with you. After mentioning all of them, the second prerequisite what we have available here is. Payment run in payment run. First of all, we have to make a payment method over here. So there are, we have already created some multiple payment methods, but if you want to make a new payment method, you can generally go in payment method setup screen and create a new payment method. Let's say I have created a for incoming and a one I have created for outgoing. So I'll let you know both of them. For incoming payment method, I have made the name also as incoming over here. I have selected payment type as incoming. Payment means as bank transfer I have given and I have selected a house bank account, which bank account will be needed for the same. Similarly for check, I have make a bank a payment type as outgoing and payment means as check over here, given all the house bank details and bank file generation details. Once you have made that this are going to be shown over here on the tab and you can select which payment method needed to be selected for that particular business partner. So here I have selected this check and bank transfer. You can also make one payment method as default by selecting as set as default. Once this has been completed, then you are we are going to make an AP invoice over here. So this AP invoice is already made for the vendor for which we have set up all the data over here. And you can give all the basic details what are available for that particular AP invoices. Now, first thing you have to check over here is. In accounting tab, we have an option available here as payment method. So which payment method for this particular business vendor we have selected over there was check as a default so as a default payment method check has been came over here if you want to ch change it you can change it over here let's say i'm changing it to the bank transfer and updating it once this has been completed let's go with the payment wizard so this is the main screen of payment wizard here we have two options available start a new payment wizard load the save payment wizard so uh, if, if you want to start a new payment wizard just click here and click next if you want to load a saved payment wizard what you have saved that i'll show you how we are, it is going to be looked later on if you want to see the executed payment runs then you can simply click over here you can see all the executed payment runs over here let's say we start with a new payment run so payment run name is new one, the date is today's and the payment type we are selecting here is outgoing payment we we are taking both checks and bank transfer. If you have a particular numbering series, then you can take the numbering series over here. After selecting next, you are going to select the business partner selection over here, as you can see on the screen available. I'm selecting my business partner vendor next and add to the list. So once it has been added to the list, you can add multiple vendors by selecting generally from from to two and it will add more than uh, 
10, 20, 50, whatever the business partner quotes you required. Other than that, you can directly select the group over here, which group you need to be added. If you have a particular group, you can add to list. You can remove this particular from list. You can remove the entire list at once by clicking this button. Next. So this is the document parameters what you can set over here. There are two mandatory fields what you have to give over here. One is posting date two and one is due date two. These are the two mandatory fields for this document parameters. You can set the priorities on basis of doc, uh, due date based on posting date, based on cash discount, based on pay to details, whatever you want. By default, payment wizard gives you the option of due date over here. So I have selected the due date of 1 1 24 and that is two days and selecting to next. It will ask me for the payment method by what payment method I need to do the transfer. So I have selected bank transfer over here once as I have selected both of them bank transfer and check on the business partner data. That's why it is giving me both. If I've selected only one that might give me only one. If I selected multiple, then it has given me multiple options from here. I need to select any one. So I'm selecting bank transfer and next. After doing next, as we can see for that particular business partner, document number eight, what we have created for 10,000 rupees has been shown over here. And for that, you have an options available is if you want to give a particular discount while before running the wizard you can give over here if you need to change the document amount you can change over here so you have the some options one is the reference options available if you need to give any kind of reference for this particular business partner then you can provide if you need to attach with some blanket agreement you can do over here after doing all of them if you have multiple uh invoices and you have selected multiple invoices the total would be coming over here in outgoing and for the incoming it will be coming here as the incoming was once you have select the next we have four options available save the criteria save recommendation execute payment order run and execute payment run so save the selection criteria only so the it will only save the criteria what we have selected but it will not select the uh, what we can say recommendations for that particular invoice is what has came in that save recommendation is something what we, I am going to show you. So here I have done save recommendation and I'm going next. And finish. So again, once I open with the payment wizard. And when I go on click load saved payment wizard, so I can see here is new one. And after that, if I click on go to final step, it will directly jump me on the final step of this recommendation report. Once I've seen the recommendation report, I'll click next and I have option of execute payment run and I have select next and yes, I need to execute this payment run. Payment wizard has been executed successfully. OK, and here you can see the payment were added. Bank transfer were added over here. So if you need to check it once, you can go simply go in outgoing payment as we have made an outgoing payment. Last document, see document number eight. 10,000 rupees payment has been made via outgoing payment vendor. General entry has been came over here. So that is how a payment wizard runs. Thank you so much.